Hazrat Urwa bin Zubair has reported from Hazrat Aisha radiyallahu anha with two authorities. She says, Utaba bin Abi Waqas, while breathing his last, said to his brother, Hazrat Sayyid bin Abi Waqas, After me you should keep the son of Zama's slave girl into your custody, for he is my son. On the occasion of the conquest of Makkah, when Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam entered Makkah, Hazrat Saad bin Abi Waqas took that son of Zama and came to Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Abd bin Zama also came along with him. Hazrat Saad bin Abi Waqas submitted, It is my nephew for my brother has taken a pledge from me that it is his son. Then Abd bin Zama submitted, O Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, It is my brother for it is the son of Zama and has been born on his bed. So Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam looked heedfully at Zama's son and he bore more resemblance to Utaba bin Abi Waqas than other people. So Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Abd bin Zama, you should take him, for he is your brother and he has been born on Zama's bedding. Then Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Sauda, screen yourself from this boy, for he found him resembling Utaba bin Abi Waqas. Ibn Shehab has reported from Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha that Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The son is of him on whose bed he has been born, and the stone is for him who commits fornication. He will be stoned to death. Ibn Shihab narrates that Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu would narrate this hadith aloud. Sahih Bukhari hadith number 4303.